from AIT Studios in Abuja, Nigeria. This is the O and N Sunday Show with Obiora Ilo and Mamode Akuga. Hello there. Thanks for joining us. It's another Sunday, and this is your Sunday Show, the O and M Sunday Show. I am Obiora Ilo. So glad to know you're already seated. I'm waiting for our wonderful package this afternoon. I also have with me uh, Mamode Akua. <laughs> Obiora, <laughs> wonderful Sunday. Uh, and to you, uh, our, our esteemed viewers, thank you so much uh, for keeping faith with us uh, to be with us again on another edition of the O&M Sunday Show. So much is happening in Nigeria right now. Um, a lot of people wondering what's going on. Very discordant tunes that we are hearing. Uh, look at the headlines from the papers. All screaming. Yes, yes, all screaming. Different. Uh, Mr. A says this, Mr. D. Maybe you should and, just get and, the papers. Let's, let's even look at what the papers are saying. Very weighty <laughs> allegations, will be all right. Very worrisome. Let's, very let's, worrisome and very yes, weighty. Let's, uh, <laughs> you know, honestly, I like most Nigerians, are uh, very, very worried at this time. Uh, and Ubiora, let, let, let's, let's just, let's, let me go through some yeah, of these you headlines. You have leadership. Yes, I have, yeah, it's on the leadership. It says, Obasanjo plots to head interim government. Uh, yes, Jonathan. You know, I, I mean, it's, uh, you know, viewers can see it, it's, you know, these are not small allegations, really. You know, uh, you know Obasanjo plots to head interim government. I and mean, then, and then from, from there you go to Sunday Sun. Yes, you know, uh, and uh, Basenjo is accusing Jonathan now. Jonathan plots to extend tenure, and this is Jonathan uh, uh, Basenjo accusing Jonathan. Now, why I say this is rather worrisome, and, and at the bottom of that, Jega may be sacked. You know, um, I think the president mm. talked about the issue of Jega in his last media chat. And it was very, very straightforward and emphatic. But this you know? keeps coming up. It keeps coming up. And they're quoting sources in the presidency. They're quoting uh, sources yes. in a whole lot of places. Front page, for that matter. You know, front page. You know, but Obiora, when a former president accuses a, a sitting president of trying to extend tenure, now I'm a little bit uncomfortable with Obasanjo accusing somebody of extending tenure. We all know Obasanjo's failed attempt to try to get a third term. I mean, his own words, there's no hiding it. No, uh, you yeah, know? I agree with uh, you. Uh, I, I, I'm more than I agree with you. Uh, yes. But if he failed in his own bid, yes. doesn't mean he will keep silent when he feels that another man is, is trying to extend tenure. Yeah. But well, my problem and yes. worry is that nobody is supporting all these accusations with facts. Even when, when, when Obasan just says, oh, Jonathan is trying to extend tenure, yes. they've not g given us the facts. Or and when the presidency uh, says that Obasan just uh, is plotting an interim uh, government that he head, to head nobody is government. giving us facts. Nobody, yes. Is it, are they just taking Nigerians for a ride? Or? And these allegations at that level, very high, high level, very mm -hmm. high quarters, to tell you the truth, Obiora, is, is very, very worrisome. There may be a lot going on that Nigerians, uh, like me and you, are unaware of as we speak. My worry yeah. is that interim government is not anything in our constitution. Yes. Uh, the tenure extension is not in our constitution. And for me, we're talking about high treason here. Yes. If people are going to um, bring things that are not, we have a sitting government and someone is, uh, is uh, being accused yeah, of, of uh, these are very weighty, very weighty uh, you know, issues. Yeah, very, very weighty, weighty issues, issues very weighty accusations. Uh, and for God's uh, sake, these very high political uh, figures should spare Nigerians all this uh, unnecessary. And you know what Obasanjo was quoted to have said that um, the president should not mind. He said phobic. Was that the word? <laughs> something like you that. Know, something like people yes. that are telling him. Yes. People uh, who have been around him. You know. You know and uh, telling him a yes. lot, lots of things that he wants to hear and all that. Yes. But. Sources uh, are also telling us, we hear from sources at the presidency, we hear from sources around the president, that just in this past week, this president had summoned a meeting of some uh, big supporters of his, and he was livid with anger about how they were carrying on. 
about the dedication they were showing to the cause of his re-election. Yes. And we are not we, enough dedication. Yes, and not we heard enough. that the president had also told them that look, this election must hold. If he is defeated, he will go. But that they were not even showing enough commitment, that a lot of people are just concerned about what goes into their pocket. Yes. I don't uh, know how true and I, and I think these sources are I mean, about yeah, what they are saying. Even if you even if you say, look, we don't have we were not at that meeting, we can, you know, but our sources are telling us, and we say, look, uh, maybe we can just put that aside. You can't put aside the statement from Abbas and Joy again. I mean, the union paper uh, says, uh, Jonathan has done his best, Abbas and Joy. And if you go through this story, Abbas and Joy in this story is also saying that, look, the people who surround Abbas and uh, the president, uh, the, the president you should be wary of them because a lot of them do not have his interest at heart. And they are uh, basically people who just want to take care of themselves. Themselves. Yes, and, and you know, uh, their stomach, as it were. Anyway. But, but <laughs> there's still something here. Jagas uh, Yes. Jagas Fit on Setus Einek as worried staff embark on seven days prayer fast. They've gone spiritual at Einek. Uh, the staff there appear to want uh, Jagas to continue but to you stay know, on. I don't know what else the president the president has to do or say I, to, I, I to, you know, to, to, to make Nigerians forget about this sack about Jagger. I mean, I believe the president when he says that, look, I believe him too. I'm not, I'm not sacking Jagger. Yeah, and right. I don't think that sacking Jagger is, is in the any, best interest of is anybody. Is the solution right yeah, now you know, to so, the, so the So why problem. don't we la allow it to ref, just fizzle out? I mean, to just fizzle out. But yes. it keeps coming. And they say there is no smoke without fire. <laughs> without fire. Uh, Mamode, we, you know, uh, we anyway. have brought some great Nigerians yes. to talk about some of this development, especially the clamor by some very high-ranking members of the PDP that INEC should go back to the TVCs. TVCs are temporary voters' cards and jettison the permanent voters' card. That is not what the APC uh, is saying. That is what, not what some Nigerians are saying. So we have in our studio... Uh, this afternoon, distinguished Senator uh, Lee Meaba. Uh, Lee Meaba was the, in, the, in the former... Uh, uh, the Senate. The Senate. Yes. Uh, we also have the, the founder and director of Movement of Voice of Democracy, uh, Chief Ifani Okonkwo. Okay. He's also, Ifani Chuku Okonkwo is also in the studio to look at these issues and many more, because there are so many there are so, issues so many. to discuss. Uh, uh, um, and also joining us later uh, on the sofa, in fact. Maybe most before. Likely, yes, <laughs> today Maybe he'll be our first trend. guest this, yes, uh, this afternoon. Uh, yes, you all remember the, the song. Uh, Nigeria Niger Jaga Jaga. Everything, everything scatter, scatter, scatter. <laughs> Nigeria Jaga Jaga. So well, <laughs> we are going to be bringing on Idris Abdul Karim. Uh, and of course, uh, we'll find out from him what he thinks today, whether Nigeria... No, 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 that's not the question I'm going to ask him. Uh, uh, I'm going to ask him, Idris, are you now a politician? <laughs> are you a pol That's my first question that's for him. That's your first question. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, Idris will be with us on the sofa shortly. Uh, and we will be, uh, of course, taking on those issues. Yeah, well, we take, okay. yeah, we take a break. Yeah. And when we return, we'll be on with General Ulukolade, the defense spokesman. Uh, to get us up to speed with the routing of uh, uh, Boko Haram in Gombe, in Gombe yes. and then the disagreements with the Nigerian uh, armed forces. Uh, yes, the teeth uh, and all the <laughs> yeah. crossfire, verbal crossfire between, between yeah. Nigeria yeah. and Nigeria. Don't go away. It's your Sunday show, the O and M Sunday show. Omo, get this guy. Why does get this guy number? Omo, we need to, we need to knock, maga this guy. Eh, make me call him. Eh, eh. Eh, no. Hello. Hello, who is this? It, it's your friend. Your friend from London. Your friend from London. Ah, which of them? Because I get many friends for London. Oh, come on, guess, guess, guess. Um, Chinedu. Exactly, Chinedu, Chinedu. Hey, Chinedu, how far now? What's up? How that side? Oh, my brother. <laughs> you know, we are hustling to make some dollars so that um, I can send to you and you can also send to me. 
So how is Lagos? Oh boy, Nigeria do. Oh boy, Chino, I don't know what they are put on our family now. It's like they're cursing our family. As I they talk to you now, last two weeks I see your mama for road. She they work out like who one. I believe say by now self she go not die. Eh? As I they talk to you now self, your papa every way for last week. Oh boy, the roof come out, knock your papa for leg. They carry and go with Bobby. Oh boy, they thought they don't do anything for your papa because your papa get diabetes joint. What? As I they talk to you now, Chino, do the one way they pay me. Is that your brother with the smoke? Go follow bad boy smoke. In head knock. As I talk to you now, this a Catholic come, not if you do about her. If you die for DSF. Eh? Do you they pay me your brother Chidi? Chidi. Hey, Chidi go where they bury people. He go drink on and then knock and jazz. As I talk to you now, your brother don't run mental. Jesus. Do you they pay me by your sister? Your sister, Amina. Amina go come up belay for hospital. As I talk to you, so as he come up the belay, now there he die. Yo. No, 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 no. I, no, all these things you have said, it will never happen to my family in Jesus' name. It don't happen to your family already now. No, I am not Chinedu, no, no. No, 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 Chinedu, be, no, Chinedu, no, no, Chinedu. It don't happen to your family already. No, please. I, I'm a 419, please. I'm not in London. I'm in Suruleri. You know, it's everything. You know, be Chine, you be Chinedu. Uh, true to God. No, no. I, I wanted to be Chinedu before, but with all these things you have said, I don't, no, God forbid, it cannot be me. No, no, no. I'm I'm in Suruleri. I'm not Chinedu. My name is Ibuku Chibuzo. Take your courses back. God forbid. I, idiot. If for that man burn your credit night, you define who you go knock maga. You no go go find work full. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>
uh, one of the first things that uh, senators do in the morning is look at the papers. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've seen the headlines, screaming headlines today. Uh, Obasanjo wants to head interim government. Um, Jonathan wants to extend tenure. Uh, accusations, accusations yeah, yeah, but you know, uh, <laughs> headlines in the papers. <laughs> How do you react to all this? Because a lot of Nigerians are worried. Well, my reaction to, to the headline is that um, Jega has pushed to the public the wrong impression. The wrong impression is the impression that the reason why election is being shifted is security, which completely I disagree. If he didn't say so, Obasanjo will not be angry. Uh, Mr. Senator, yeah. please. Okay. Don't, don't let me just. Yes. No, no. We have, we have, we have, uh, we we have once again a uh, uh, general. We have General Lukolode once again on the line. Yeah, General, you were talking about how they they, they wanted to invade the Gombe to distribute uh, leaflets, telling people not yes. to go for the elections and all that. Yes. Um, but, but they were overpowered eventually, and they took to their flight. As they were fleeing, their troops pursued them. Somehow they ran in different directions, and we got some, and we got others apprehended. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 General, you know, it worries me that these uh, Boko Haram uh, insurgents are getting more determined uh, to undermine the nation. They've moved away from just using their guns. They are look, now doing some what, what propaganda. I call propaganda. Yeah. And I'm, I was asking, uh, we have this multinational uh, force. How do they manage to slip through all this, uh, all this security? Dragnet. I mean, the dragnet. Okay, please, uh, uh, let me explain one thing about the multinational. The multinational element is only complementary to what the security agencies are doing in the country. And most of the effort is around the border. <laughs> now, with the ongoing operations, they are starting to be, you know, get running to different directions. It's not unlikely they run, some of them are those who came to perpetrate the ones around Gombe. Secondly, about Gombe, you should know that Gombe is not within the state of emergency declaration. So the, 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 the state of operations there might not be as, as high as it is in the other areas that are under the coverage. But General, but General, 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 knowing how Boko Haram, how desperate they are, do we just have to concentrate our energy in those flashpoints? Can't we, can't we be proactive in our reaction to Boko Haram? Oh, we are, we are attacking them in, uh, in um, Boronu. They may look for uh, windows in, in, in areas like Wombe. Especially when you have uh, you know, extra personnel now, uh, courtesy of your joint uh, operations. I see, I see demand or request that you, you understand the implication, the, you know, the, the, the packaging of the operation. The involvement of the multinational is simply complementary to what is ongoing. Now, the normal security activities all over the country are still there. It does not mean that uh, being um, gorilla or whatever they, they are, terrorists, they still have eyes in other places. They have people who are in mufti, who must masquerade and move around. Agreed that you know, they moved towards the uh, Gombe yesterday. The important thing is that they were checked, they, their intention was not achieved, and I think that's indicative of their lackness even outside the main mission area. Uh, they possibly thought that uh, other places should be available. Okay, General, but, sorry, I'm not no. cutting you short, General, but you know, one other thing that happened within the, this past week was, would I call it altercation or the ver with, ver with, verbal with, exchange. Yes, uh, we never profile. saw you get angry like this, even in your language. <laughs> you know, when the Ni Nigerians were accused of calling our, our, our very gallant soldiers cowards. What actually transpired, uh, General? Well, uh, we, we have gotten over it somehow. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, be sure that, okay, regardless of what is happening, Nigeria still remains a country that has its own pride. Which would be the, you know, the, the pride of every Nigerian. An insult on the Nigerian Air Force is an insult on the Nigerian nation. That's 
true. I don't think anybody, any Nigerian, should accept it. If you follow the trend, you will see that it is becoming a pattern. And not just a pattern, many others are beginning to copy from that. Uh, it's rather the, the other people around us saying that they are alleging that you know, our soldiers are cowards. Nothing could be more demoralizing for the troops in the field to be made an object of derision. Now the derision becomes worse when it is nation against nation and being, being uttered by uh, uh, government official channels. Then you think it becomes a, a national issue. But like I said, it's not affecting our operations okay. where we are getting on together. Okay. Uh, well, right. General, uh, as usual, we'd like to thank you. You're always helpful, always available when we need you. Uh, please take our message to the troops that they have the support of Nigerians to uh, route out these insurgents. Thank you so much, and they are proud of you too. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, uh, we're back to uh, the Yes, uh, yeah. and uh, Senator Lee was uh, bringing a very interesting perspective uh, to the discordant tunes that we're seeing uh, and you were saying that uh, I never gave a wrong, wrong impression, impression, which led to uh, uh, Basenjo being angry. Yes, I, and I'm not withdrawing it. Okay. You know, the issue of, of an election is all about the voters and the contestants. Yes. Now, the, but the more important people are the voters. Voters must be giving all the privileges and respect they deserve. And the first respect to a voter is to give him a voter's card. Either it's temporary or it's, or it's permanent. A voter's card is a voter's card. Okay. Now, Jagger, in his press briefing, clearly said that 66% of cards have been issued to all registered voters, of 100% of registered voters. That left a figure of 34% of cards not issued. And in a national election, President Shoshagari had won an election before with 39% of vote. Meaning that 34% can actually be the total vote for who is winning in a situation where you have 10, 10 to 14 candidates. 34% of the total vote is enough, is enough vote to win an election. Mr. Senator, but, but could that be the reason for the discordant? Now, uh, that, that is what I'm coming to now. Meaning that, Jagger, in the same space of time, sitting in the same place, saying that 34% of voters, which amount to me, maybe 34 million, if you take 100 million as, as an indices or a database for his 66%, meaning that about 34 million have not taken the card, so they are not entitled to vote as of the 8th of February. And he's saying in the same instance that he was ready for election. Meaning that it is only in Nigeria you can say that because after the 17th Amendment in the American Constitution about the protection of voters, two voters have gone to court to challenge a finished election, a concluded election. And the election was disqualified by the court. And but you're not talking about 30 they something million voters. The challenge that they, they, were, they were not allowed to participate. The challenge here is that you have reached 8th of February. Election is supposed to be on the 14th of February. But you confirm it as the umpire. Like Buhari said that everything about conduct of election is resolved with INEC. Yes. But in compliance with laid down rules and regulations, that if 34% of voters, including, we may include you and me, have not taken the PVC. How you are not, Senator. No, no, what? I'm saying that how will you not say you are ready for election? Okay. Because the more fundamental issue here now is that the issue of security has been overflowed to have been that it was being, the postponement was being, was being pushed forward by the presidency using security cover. But actually, the type of insecurity disfranchising 34% of voters can cause. If only 34% of voters come out on the day of election and say you cannot vote because we're not getting card, what other insecurity is more than that? So 
to me, INEC, Jega, is the one that actually have a good reason to postpone the election. And the good reason is that, gentlemen, too many people have not taken this card. Let me shift this election by so either people, four weeks or okay. six weeks. So if you have not taken it, card, so don't blame me. So that gave okay. a wrong impression. That gave a wrong to impression. People like uh, oh, President Obasanjo. Yeah, my, 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 yes, General Obasanjo have the right to be angry because I read through everything he said that look, the Commander in Chief supposed to provide election, uh, uh, security at every point, which is correct. But the issue here now is that the type of insecurity that will yes. overrun the election mm. if 34 million Nigerians are, are disfranchised okay. is even more than what they gone. We have to bring the uh, <laughs> <laughs> to the conversation. <laughs> yes. I, I share his sentiments, but I don't agree with the point he has made. Okay. The issue is clear. Within the frame of our constitution, the provisions of section 135 sub 3 and section 180 sub 3, it is the prerogative of the president and the National Assembly to postpone election. Under the Electoral Act, yes. it is the discretion of the electoral umpire to shelf the date of election. But in doing that, I believe that Jaga has shown that he's a good administrator. He read the letter that was forwarded to him. Those letters were very clear that because of our engagement in the activities of insecurity that we may not be available to provide security for the election. And being an administrator, all he needed to do was to lash on to that so and make a presentation. So use it as I a cover. I expected mm. that the president and the National Assembly should have liaised and used the protection provided in the Constitution because we know that the ground is not level. We have insurgency. We have challenges of other security, kidnapping, and all these other uh, intervening circumstances. But they now fought shy of using the Constitution and now gave the impression. I was even flabbergasted when the president said that he never knew. He was not consulted. That, that the National the, Security that Advisor. He, yes. No, was, I, I did not consult him before he postponed my Yes. That's so what the president because said. Because it's a national issue. Is the stake are high. That but, is well, but if the president may be right, because um, the head of INEC, Jaga, Professor Atairu Jaga, consulted with stakeholders. He made a presentation at the Council of State meeting. Yes. They deliberated on it yes. and said, look, go and meet with the and stakeholders. Consult go and consult with the stakeholders. And when you do, depending on the reaction you get, then you can take a decision. So he took the thing to Council of State. They pushed it back to him. And then he held a meeting with party leaders, mm -hmm. with uh, INEC staff, yeah. you know, before taking a decision that the election should be postponed. Mamode, yes. I want us to move back to what we are talking about. The voices. Uh, can we concentrate on that? These accusations, weighty accusations that are coming from the president, that are coming from our former president, what does it, what are the implications for our polity? Let me, let me, uh, let uh, me it, ask you if I it, it is, uh, it doesn't paint a very good picture of the way the country is being run. And I must give one credit to Obasanjo. We may not like the way he talks, but it's because the leadership problem in Nigeria, the system of consultation and doing things creates room for somebody in the kitchen to make a lot of noise. We don't have opposition parties because the critical issue today is that election was postponed under the electoral act, but within the frame of the constitution provision where the president has the power, he has the confidence of Nigerians to tell us, I have interrogated INEC, they are not ready, and I have security challenges, and I will use this power to consult with the National Assembly and shelf the election because of these are security implications. You can't really define security on a narrow perspective. It no, is but, at but, large. But, but uh, if I, even we see a situation today where 
that responsibility was left for INEC to execute. And you can see the fallout yes. that is causing. If the president had taken that initiative, which you are saying, and handled it himself and then made that uh, uh, postponement himself, what do you think we'll be facing today? No. You <laughs> don't run government on sentiments. You don't, a president as the commander in chief must never shiver. He is leading the country. And he must lead from the front. What I'm saying is with very people, simple. With people like the former president, uh, you know, breathing down his throat uh, uh, Why, uh, with his every move. You remember there were consultations in the Council of States. They were supposed to. Uh, let me tell you honestly, if I am President Jonathan, I would have fired Jega before now. Yeah, the why? consultation. Because no, 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 look why? at the mess. Look at the mess we are in. Because they are not on top of the situation. We are talking about percentages, very higher percentages of registered voters not getting the franchise to vote. Even though in Nigeria you cannot go to court as a voter to annul an election. It has been settled in the case of Obasanjo and uh, Egolum. But in other crimes, these are constitutional issues. And I believe that Jega has shown so much incompetence. Okay, let me go to the Sungi Senator. Your party, your PDP, yes. at the highest level of your party, suggestions are being made that we should throw overboard the permanent voters' cards and use the temporary voters' cards. So, so as uh, to accommodate, I mean, everybody. accommodate everybody. According to them, INEC has not really done its work and more people will be disenfranchised. What is your position? Is my this something you support? My, my position is total support. Because for, TV, for temporary cards? Yes, listen to me. Listen to me. There's TVC, there's PVC. The temporary card, in the United in, in anywhere, so many countries, even in Africa, if you have gone to register as a voter, I, I don't get me. If you are going to register as a voter, you, they have captured all your images. Oh, so no, it is yes. authenticated that this is the man. That is where the post office would have even been used. People don't need to go and queue up to take a card. They are supposed to be posted their permanent card because they already have the temporary one, like yes. like like the like the driver license. Senator, where are the uh, post offices? No, no, I'm coming. That's where I'm going to. That's where I'm going to. That's where I'm going to. Has been killed. The post no, office has no, no, no. I, I, will, I will tell you something. He said Jaga proved a lot of incompetence. I, I don't need to buy. I am buying into the fact that INEC have not been made to look like a real election body that is working daily. It's supposed to work daily. INEC is not supposed to be working during election time. Okay. After election, one month after election, if you go to a typical INEC office, it's shut down. Everybody have left. Because the issue here is that issue of voter's card supposed to be a daily thing. If somebody turned 18. Non stop. Yes, so if somebody turned 18, walk into the office, get himself captured, go, get his permanent voter's card. After, oh. two, th after two, three weeks, the permanent one is ready. Either they, they post it to his address or he come to take it. We wouldn't have this problem. This but problem but is with, that the, with the TVCs, is it not now taking this Nigeria is, back? So let me come. Let me, let me arrive now. Okay. Everybody massively went to take the TVC. All the voters. And their images are captured. Okay. So the issue of this man is a ghost, or this man is not a ghost, does not exist. All right. Now you, you are introducing PVC. And if, one, if four days to election, the, the yeah. PVC have not been shared to even 70% even of the voters. And you know it will cause trouble. What do you do? Either you have TVC, either you have PVC, come and vote. If we have said that, that is a security of the voters first. All the voters, either you have TVC or your PVC, come and vote. I went, to a, I went to a station in my village where a woman told me that they have been cleaned up for the past four days, and only two youth copper. We are working only two youth copper. And the process takes over almost 10 to 20 minutes for one car to be, one car to to be, be issued. So on a whole day run, you discover that this youth copper was boasting that she have issued almost 100 cars today. And you have 2,000 people. So in multiplying effect, <laughs> how does INEC not review the system? And because we think, because there is this say that you have to be stopping error than to be stopped by error. What happened here, the real situation, is that INEC did not stop in error to review their system and see how this card 
but also when you see what, uh, the election day coming very close. Stop in error is to reveal your system to avoid fat, uh, for that mistakes. To your fatality. Mm. To be stopped by error means fatality. And what is actually happening now is fatality. It, they are being stopped by the error. Okay. So, okay. so as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> we, the issue <laughs> yeah. no, the issue of TVC, the issue of TVC being used is better. Because even when you say you are having PVC and you want to use card reader, card reader have not been used in any election. It's not like in 2007 when the debate on whether we should use uh, electronic. Electronic. electronic voting was yes. hit up. We said, the same thing. in National Assembly, we told the, we told the, uh, uh, you cannot use it because you cannot go and experiment a new system in a major presidential election. Do you agree with the senator? Completely. On the TVC. You see, we are still talking about building institutions. That INEC is independent does not mean that we have built institutions. The political parties fail woefully to buy into INEC to be interrogating what INEC okay, is doing. Do follow, follow and up on daily the basis. The political parties were also on holiday for the greater part of the last four years. Now they have all woken up, and now the issue is we have found out that the driver is not ready. The critical issue now is we voted in 2011 without the, uh, PVC. Uh, the, the, PVC, yes. the PVC. Now, all we need to do as a national emergency is for the National Assembly to quickly make a resolution that we go back to the ordinary temporary voters so that you can use both. That okay. is where but the assembly they are politicking right no, now. Yes, <laughs> let, me, let me give they are politicking right now. Say, Lee, <laughs> no, no, there's something there's something that I, there's something you need you need to make a quick reaction because we are running out of time. Uh, we are seeing in the papers that politicians um, for whatever party, I mean pe people yeah. of your ilk, uh, politicians are buying up PVCs, and I'm wondering to myself. Oh. I, I, you well, must have seen it, it in the papers. Uh, that they're buying PVCs. What are they buying it for? That, 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 that's, that's completely, you know, a, an imagination of a desperate contestant. Because, yeah, that, that is an imagination of a desperate contestant because everybody is going to the polling unit and to prevent, you, pro, you, pro, you, you know, you present your, either your TVC or your PVC or you have given a voter's card uh, and you vote. I don't see an instance no matter what happened, no matter where Nigeria have got into, where you will go to the polling station and bring 100 PVs and say, I am 100. Give me 100 card. Okay. <laughs> but if I Supposing I, I, I uh, between myself and uh, uh, Obiora and I are contesting, uh, and I know that you support Obiora and he supports me, and I buy up your PVC and start it in the house. Without the PVC, you can't vote, which means that only one person will vote and I become winner. Is that the scenario? Now you are thinking. <laughs> now you are thinking. What they are doing is to buy up the PVCs um, in the centers of strength of the opposition. Oh. No, I, I just... No, 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 all right. Well, you see, <laughs> I have to leave this. Me, okay. let, me, let, me uh -huh. let me tell you why I disagree. In one <laughs> sentence, the same senator. In one sentence. In one, in one <laughs> sentence. <laughs> yes. In every polling unit, there is there is a, an agent of every candidate. No, but the, the PVCs won't come no, to no, the... I'm, I'm no, sorry, people won't come. come. They will not come. I'm, I'm telling They, 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 they I'm, make I'm sure that your supporters don't come. No, excuse me. You can't buy up... Uh, what I'm trying to say is that if I have 100 PVC, which I bought from him... Yeah. You, you have lost you you get any I'm coming. I'm coming. You didn't I'm get any from me. Where will you use this... Well, how do I present myself? No, so you, no, no uh, you don't need to present it for what he has. Yes, that means no, control. No, that means control. He has taken 100 of your supporters. <laughs> we, uh, how we, did he uh, take uh, them? Because number one, <laughs> number well, one, well, do you well. buy it and the man still use the PVC to go and vote for him? Or you no. buy it, or you <laughs> buy <laughs> it and put it in your pocket? Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Senator Lee, thank you so much. It's not in the business uh, of buying. Uh, 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 he said it's not in the business uh, of buying. Yes, <laughs> okay, business. Obviously, you have not well, bought. I'm, you I'm, have not bought. I've never read an election. I don't know how to That's why I'm so I'm not in the business you. of buying it. I'm you got one man, one vote. So how do you buy it? Okay. <laughs> hey, gentlemen, well, yeah. we have some uh, uh, souvenirs, souvenirs for you. For you. Yeah. I, oh. I was a guest yes. on the one them lecture. Yeah, I am on the show. Thank uh, you so much. Use that for your coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you Thank so you. much.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll take a break. When we return, we have Nigeria Jaga. Jaga. Yes. Everything. Yes. Idris <laughs> Abdul. I hear in Nigeria, nothing is happening. Nothing is working. Nothing is making sense. When I look in Nigeria, I see the economy is growing. Young people have better opportunities. The farmers are rejoicing. Transportation is getting better and better. The roads are better than they have been in a long, long time. So why are they lying? Why are they covering the truth? Where is the integrity? Where is the patriotism? Maybe that's why they don't want to debate. People, think about the truth. Think Nigeria. Vote. Good luck, Jonathan, for president. This message is brought to you by Wind of Hope. Say Niger go scatter 2015 because when you both know one superpower for Africa, that you now want superpower for Niger. They want scatter scatter our country. They want disorganize my people. People. They want scatter scatter our country. They want disorganize Nigeria. Nigeria make we shine our eyes. Salute for the man who's a beast. Nigeria make we shine our eyes. Make we no go enter one chance. Nigeria make we shine our eyes. Idris Abdul Karim still talking about Nigeria. Scatter, scatter. It's still the Jaga Jaga thing. It's That's what he's still saying. <laughs> well, let's welcome Idris Abdul Karim to the sofa. Uh, <laughs> uh, How you doing, sir? Idris, man. Longest time, bro. Sir. Yes. <laughs> Sit, please. Yes. So, uh, Nigeria, Jaga Jaga. Uh, how is Nigeria today? <laughs> First of all, I will say that um, it was 15 years ago I sang that song. 15? Yeah. Really? It's already 15 That yeah. was 14 years. That's 2000. Wow. And this is 2014. Wow. So basically... It's 2015. I, 15, sorry. Yeah. So basically I've been vindicated. I remember then it was uh, Moba Sonjo that was the president. Uh. And um, he came on the national TV and said, now my papa and my family, jaga jaga. <laughs> you know? <laughs> And I was very happy that the president said that because um, truth is bitter in our country, yeah. you know. And today, I will tell you that I'm very, 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 very proud of Jonathan. Even though we know the insecurity is a propaganda. Mm. How do you mean? Please break it down. It's very simple. Nigerians have failed to read and forget easily. There was a man that left his town and went to Meduguri and had a meeting with Boko Haram. Have you forgotten? Uh, you should use... Uh, no, 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 no. I, I, I mean, Idris, how, uh, you should, you should, <laughs> I don't know. If you tell me you don't know, I will tell you, but that's very bad that you don't know. No, I don't, it's bad. I accept. I don't know. So have you forgotten that Obasanjo went to Meduguri? No, we know that Obasanjo went to Meduguri. He, he, he went to make peace with uh, Boko Who sent him to go and make peace? And when he came out making peace, who did he tell what went wrong? Did he have an endorsement from the presidency to do that? Let's forget that. 24 hours he left. What happened to the brother-in-law of the Boko Haram guy? Was killed. Oh, you remember that? Listen very carefully, my brother. Nigeria is about interest. Jonathan, for me, has been able to achieve a lot of beautiful things that most of the past president have not been able to do. For example, the Ibadan Expressway to Lagos has been there for 15 years, or that under the same Baba that we are talking about. And the budget has been passed. It never did anything. Jonathan has done that road. Our airport, when you enter that airport, you will not say, be like saying a toilet today. Today has been reformed. I want to see development, and for the first time, I'm seeing development. It gives me no reason with other beautiful things that are happened to let you know that it's propaganda. No, but, but no, people but, but, have also accused Mr. President of not delivering on power. Why are you just talking about the positive? What power are you talking about? Electricity. And what? not delivering on the insurgency. He's stopping the insurgency. Let me break something down. During Obasanjo's 
um, era, was power delivered? It no, was, but they were not it using our passengers as the battery. No, it's a point. It's a, it's no, a but question. it is. It is. <laughs> it's not about the question. Are you particularly angry with our passenger? I am not. The point is very, very simple. Is it because he said your family, Daga Daga, is that what no, you're no, angry no, about? No, 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 no. It is not that. It is that he, Obasanjo, brought good luck to us. Good luck never said he wanted to be president. Have you forgotten? He never said he wanted to be president. He was the one that told us. He raised his hand and he said to you, Nigeria, I present to you one of the finest. So what went wrong? Yes, what went wrong? I should be asking you. You are in here. Because that is your job. My responsibility is to see and write songs about it and educate my people. So this song that you have done now, this new song, um, I still hear scatter, scatter. What's this song all about? Okay, basically, good luck, Billy Billy Jonathan. I've not met him before. I'm not a politician, but my responsibility. I, I, I see that a lot of you artists oh, somehow it, yeah, support him. I think you have become politician. You have become politician. If, if, if I have, if I have the opportunity, yes, I will be a politician. If I have the opportunity, because I just don't want to sit back, relax, and criticize. I want to add value to the lives of people. I would love to do that, but. My responsibility through my music that talks about the ills in the society has done that. So you're playing politics in that in that Educating level. people mm -hmm. on what has gone wrong and what is right. Simple as ABC. So 15 years ago, Nigeria jaga jaga. So how come? 15 years after, you're still saying so that scatter, scatter. Because it has jaga jaga tete, no be good luck jaga so jaga now. Have you forgotten? No, you don't jaga jaga tete, no be good luck jaga jaga. <laughs> so good luck is coming. To do all that he can do, do your best and do your best. Ask one question: If Godfather like Obasanjo will bring good luck, a Billy Jonathan, to rule us, what went wrong that is now protesting against him? No, but Idris, please can if, you give me If an I answer? bring somebody to rule, yes, and in the course of the ruling, person not really well, I'm, the per person probably is not doing it well. Mm -hmm. Are you saying I shouldn't say that? Look, I have issues with this. Mm -mm. Just because I brought him out, Obasanjo mm -hmm. should just go and okay, put his hands between his legs what about me? and not say a word. Okay, what about me? If I say to you that I have brought good luck to come and rule, I am Obasanjo, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden I went back and said, okay, my game plan is very correct now. Because good luck is a script that has refused to turn over. The, um, the um, what's it called? Foreigners. The U.S. told us that Nigeria will disintegrate in 2015. Why do they say that? Have you ever thought of maybe they have an insider that would actually make that happen? You're making very weighty very, accusations. Very, yeah. very weighty accusations. But are you, no, no, no. Have you, you have, no, no, it's, no, it's, no, no, no. It is no, no, not no. an accusation. Idris, it is Idris, a point. Idris, I know you are spoken. You say your mind. You say the way it is. Thank but you. do you have facts? For these suggestions, these insinuations. The one that I said to you was it fact or which was one? It that I told you that he went to Meduguri to add. But you were was not there. Like, to, you no, don't no, know what they discussed. So he this. should tell us. Of when course, he said. He when told, you when he came back, he told Nigeria. When you have the opportunity, when you have the opportunity, he, I am Obasanjo, that brought good luck, Ebele Jonathan, to rule this country. What I will do is to walk up to him in Asorok, sit in his bedroom, and say, "Come here, guy." This thing where they do no. He so said he has done nah, that wait, several. Nah, Idris, bro, Idris. Obasanjo bro. said he has done bro. it severally. He has bro. written bro. letters. Bro, 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 who are very intelligent, you put plus and plus together. It's very simple that good luck has refused to have an understanding with the president because he refused to share the country with him. Okay. Don't forget, it's all about interest. And if you ask me what is my interest, I want to see development. Simple. Okay, we'll so. take a break. We take a message uh, yes. and we conclude uh, we'll, our conversation. When we come back, we we'll talk about the message. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> They want scatter scatter our country. country. They want disorganize Jonathan. They want scatter scatter our country. country. They want disorganize Jonathan. Jonathan. Them say oh God, you not know they show love. Same no like nothing and some on our life. So you go, so you come. If we know they careful, so you go to the ruler. What kind of leaders are we looking for? So you ain't not bad happy military dictator. <laughs> some of them no be Democrat. Some of them over democratic government. government. 
and some of them we join our section our politician and just shine your eyes such politicians are practically impossible oh but shine your eyes Nigeria make we shine our eyes salute for the man we sabi Nigeria make we shine our eyes make we no go enter one chance Nigeria shine your eyes vote president good luck Ebele Jonathan vote for the continuation of the transformation agenda Uh, <laughs> Obiora, uh, <laughs> Idris, you said here just now you have never met this man. Yeah. You know, and I have asked a few people also from, you know, uh, the music industry, from Nollywood, you know, I'm intrigued by the kind of interest artists, actors, actresses, everybody's taking so much interest, you know, uh, I don't know. Does this have to do with the, how many billion was it that Jonathan put in a dedicated account for artists? <laughs> for artists. But, I mean, but, but, all this, does this have to do with that, you know, lump sum that President Jonathan said, look, for the development of uh, entertainment people? I'm not yeah. a beneficiary of that. Maybe you should ask Ben Bruce when you see him. Um, my point, which is very, very important, Oga, yeah. is that um, when I was leaving Kano for Abuja, my mom told me something that always say the truth no matter where it is. I will ask a question. That, fif that 15 years ago, when I sang Jaga Jaga, did anybody pay me to do that? Well, you're expressing yourself artistically. Thank you, and I'm expressing myself again and again. Idris, yes. who paid for this jingle? Nobody, me. You produced it? Yes. On your own? Yes. You didn't get a dime? No. I'm into agricultural activities of production of maize and fruit. That's what you do now. And I've been doing that for a long time. I'm from the north, for goodness sake. And a lot of people wonder why a lot, a lot of people you are, are not, from the north yes, people are, are not supporting. Because it has nothing to do with sentiment. Please, we're Nigerians. The northerners have ruled. South have ruled. Jonathan is ruling because he's from the south-south. What has he done wrong? What is the problem? You've never asked yourself. Mama, ask my brother. Mama. Say that, hold on, say that when Baba brought good luck and now that he's campaigning against him, my brother, a lot of things they involve. Mama so, Mama 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 please, yeah. I'm begging you. We have to leave politics now. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, <laughs> let's take our <laughs> final <laughs> questions. Yes. Politics are oh. tied uh, uh, around uh, uh, everything. Uh, uh, Idris, no. Whether you like it Tell or not. me <laughs> about the reunion of the remedies. Remedies are fine. We're doing great. There are a lot of musicians out there that talk about boobs and booty. I don't talk about that. I talk about social ills. I talk about Mr. Lecturer. That's my responsibility. It's between me and Allah. When you do this, yeah. do you bother about people buying the songs? Oh, is yes, it? because a lot of people, it's affecting a lot of people. It's a country that we're living in. It's affecting everybody, whether you like it or not. Our football is tied to politics. So whether we like it or not, you need to stand up and s support who you want to support and give them a reason why you want to support these people. So, so, so what is the future holding for Idris Abdul Karim? First of all, the Nigerian music industry is not regulated. Don't forget. It's an individual effort. Mm -hmm. That's why we give thanks to people like Chief Raymond Dokwesi, people like Ken Yugumbe and Bros. I remember back then you supported uh, us. Wow. You know. You didn't thank me. Bros. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you also. <laughs> you know? Because you see, if the music industry is regulated like the telecommunication industry, like the banking industry, we will never, never have a problem in this country. And our Nigerian artists will so much enjoy their royalty and mechanical rights. Don't forget, MTV base don't pay royalties. Don't forget that. Also, my brother, I remember when 50 Cent came. Oh. And, it, and it was When you fought. And yeah. it was <laughs> <laughs> when you fought him in the aircraft. And I didn't fight him. You see, that's the point. Oh. When you bring an artist from America that sings about sex, drugs, and how many gunshots in his body, and you're paying him $1 million to come and teach us all these things, who are the people drinking the drink? Who are the people buying the shares? Until you start appreciating your own, and until we start speaking the truth, that's when Nigeria will be better. Mama de. Idris, <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Thank um, you, you, thank know, you. Uh, you are one artist that, uh, of course, uh, speaks the truth 
uh, to Nigeria at all times, no matter what the consequence may be for you. My mother, you know, mm. you know we have mm. to change our style because mm. We, we have these musicians and the actors, and we think they are going no, to talk. They're, the but they are, they are talking politics. Oh, they are oh, getting they are, involved. They are, they, are, they are becoming very yes, politically very. aware. It's important, bros. Thank yes. you. Whether <laughs> you like it or not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. It is. Okay. <laughs> Thank, we'll, you. Uh, yes. Thank you for having me, sir. Yes. I really it's appreciate it. It's our pleasure. It. A little Thank souvenir you. from us yes. to show that you were a guest on our show. I'll keep this for life. <laughs> it's beautiful. I'll okay. take my coffee every morning with you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I'm really grateful. Anyway, you just stay um, and let's yes. round off. Um, of course, we are here again. On Tuesday? On Tuesday night. Uh, yes, 11 p.m. 11 p.m. Uh, yeah, the the O&M Late Show. Uh, Can I say the last word, please? Okay. Please, Nigeria, I beg you in the name of God. Vote president, good luck, <laughs> Billy Jonathan. No, 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 no. Pedris. Oh, Pedris. I'll pay for it. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, God, I'll talk up before. I that thought you were going to say, oh, <laughs> I want to thank you guys for, <laughs> for bringing <laughs> me. Well, that's our, right. that's our package for this afternoon. I'm Obiora Ilo from uh, Abuja in Nigeria. Yes, and I'm from Abuja. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, let's do it again Tuesday night. They want this Nigeria. Nigeria, make you shine our eyes. Salute for the man who is a beast. Nigeria, make you shine our eyes. Make we no go and one chance. Nigeria, make you shine our eyes. Salute for the man who is a beast. Nigeria, make you shine our eyes. Make we no go and one chance. Them say, oh God, you know, know they show love. Say, no, like, not an answer, I'm on a lot. So, you go, so, you come. If we know they care for, so, you go to rule us. What kind of leaders are we looking for? So, you know, you know, have a military dictator. <laughs> Some of them, no be Democrat. Some of them, overthrow democratic government. We know one regional, sectional, political.